the uh, trucks come in every, twice a day, lunch and dinner. It's been fabulous to have somebody provide some warm meals so we don't have to actually stop what we're doing and get out. <laughs> so uh, it's nice to have um, people come through. And, and one of the other Red Cross volunteers came two days ago, Thursday, maybe it was, or maybe Wednesday this week, while we, the kids and I were working, and uh, just came and, and talked with the kids and gave stuff to animals. It's just wonderful. Oh, that's very sweet. Warm okay. fuzzy. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes in the American Red Cross to make sure that those affected by disaster are able to receive a hot meal twice a day. It takes supplies, it takes people, and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. It all starts with making sure that we have sanitary cameras in which to hold the food. Also, no organization can accomplish this feat alone. The Red Cross has a long-standing partnership with the Southern Baptists to make sure that meals are prepared in bulk. Once the meals are prepared, they go on to our emergency response vehicles before being sent out into the field. With this process, the American Red Cross and its herbs were able to serve more than 400,000 hot meals and snacks to those affected by the floods all over Tennessee. 